scores. Lord, we thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. We thank you that you are good and that your mercy endureth forever. We thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. We thank you for dying to set us free. We thank you for dying to set us free. However often I pray it, it's not often enough. Lead us, guide us, fill us with your spirit. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Amen and amen and amen. 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 So we're in... The beginning of Luke, and we're going to pick this up in New International today, and some incredible uh, prophecies about John the Baptist from from the from the Spirit and from the angel, and then out of the mouth of his of his dad, and uh, just so cool that God is like triple confirming the life and this ministry, and. We are so grateful to God for, for the life and ministry of John the Baptist. Um, yes, we are. The, the ministry of John the Baptist, telling people, get ready, the Lord's coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Turn your life around and publicly announce that with water baptism. Um, we're going to pick this up in 16 today and... Uh, and please, God, let it go right to our heart and not just to our head. Amen. Amen. Yeah, uh, well, we were in the middle of this uh, extraordinary event, the visitation of the angel Gabriel to Zechariah in the temple. Yeah. Uh, just to recap, just to touch upon uh, verses 11 on, because that's, that's where this uh, incident begins. Uh, an angel of the Lord, verse 11, uh, angel of the Lord appeared to uh, Zechariah standing at the right side of the altar. Zechariah startled him. He's startled. The angel said to him, do not be afraid. Your prayers have been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will, will bear you a son. It will be a joy and a delight to you, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, etc. Uh, he will. He is, he is never to take wine or other fermented drink. So he's a, it's a, a, the path of a Nazarite. He is uh, never, uh, I'm sorry, and he will uh, be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he's born. That's, this is extraordinary to say the least yes. uh, for an Old Testament um, event. Uh, it was uncommon for the Holy Spirit to do a little more than visit, to be upon someone, but, but in them, that's the New Testament uh, testimony that yes. the Holy Spirit resides within. Uh, and even before birth, this is this is really extraordinary. So uh, but that's the situation with John the Baptist. This is how um, consecrated his life is even before he's born. Yes. Uh, he was born to many people in Israel. OK, verse 16, then uh, for a new start today, he will bring back. Many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. That's essentially reflecting on the fact that his ministry is one of repentance and reconciliation, yeah. getting yeah. people reoriented to the Lord. Verse 17, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the lord now this is this is very extraordinary because this is um the uh, very last this this ties with the very last um written prophet in the bible malachi uh who also speaks about the coming of elijah right and that's the, the, so this is bridging a gap of 400 years malachi right. wrote about 400 bc and here we are uh right near the birth time of christ so um elijah spoke uh, uh, i'm sorry uh, malachi spoke of uh elijah and here uh, and here um we're seeing uh zacharias receive this this message uh the uh the issue is when when interpreting uh malachi's uh prophecy 
was it a literal reappearing of Elijah himself? Or is it enough to say the prophecy is fulfilled in the spirit and the power of Elijah, which is stated here in verse 17? Okay. Um, and either, I mean, the, uh, there are here good people go either way on this, but uh, <clears throat> certainly the spirit and the power are present. Uh, spirit and power of Elijah are present in John the Baptist. And many people That's refer right. to him as a as a elijah refer to john as elijah and that's um, not it's not uncommon in the culture for us to look through the lens of people's giftings into their name like if you he's got the spirit and power of elijah so you go whoa it's just like elijah um i'm not i'm not i used to be well he's elijah walking around in the body of john but i'm not I'm not wild about that theology anymore just because, um, you know, it's given once to die and then the resurrection. So I think about this in terms of the the same giftings that were on Elijah. Now, it's also weird because we don't see him doing the miraculous in the same way Elijah did. We don't know if he does or he doesn't do the miraculous. We don't think that he does. We don't have... We don't have any record of him doing the miraculous except for preaching a harsh gospel that said, it's time to get it right because the Lord is coming. And if you're living wrong, you don't want to be living wrong when the Lord is here. You want to be living right and um, just rocking the, the nation with this powerful preaching. Um, when we get to it, I, I also want to talk about how this is not how uh, the actual ministry of John the Baptist I don't imagine is how his parents had envisioned him. I imagine that they figured that he would take his spot in the priesthood, that he would be just like mom and dad, but he's not like mom and dad in the sense of being um, in their in their pipeline of worship and whatever. He is he is a free spirit in the power of Elijah out in the wilderness. He's not doing his um, every six month tour in the temple, he is just preaching the gospel, and we'll we'll see that as we get to it. So there's a couple different things that the preaching of of Elijah that that's so similar to Elijah in John the Baptist turn the hearts of the parents to their children. It's a fascinating picture of what the gospel does in a life. <clears throat> parents that are living aside from the Lord are not connected in the same way to their children as parents who are devotedly, passionately serving the Lord. So to turn the hearts of the parents, like the parents, Jewish parents love their kids, but this is even a special kind of loving. I just made a generality there that's, of course, um, not true of everybody, but it is true majority. But they want to turn turn the hearts of the parents to really serve in the Lord before their children, and the disobedience to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so, mu so much there pr prophesied into John the Baptist even before. <laughs> even before he's born and even before his ministry takes root. Right. He will turn the, the hearts of the parents toward their children and the children toward their parents and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. Yes. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So there's that re reconciliation that uh, is cornerstone to his ministry. That's right. Verse 18. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? Hmm. I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. Well, you can be okay. sure of this because this is Gabriel and he showed up in the temple while you are doing your priestly sacrifices. And he spoke something incredibly uh, baffling to you. But yep. his reaction is, how can this be? Yeah, like, he, I uh, hear you. 
But this is too doubt. great for me to even imagine. This is this is too awesome for me to be to get my arms around. Well, the thing is, he's expressing doubt. I mean, you can imagine an, an angel appearing in person, uh, the the messenger of of the Lord. He is the annunciation angel. He's the he's the one who carries messages directly from God. And yes. Zachariah's response is, "How can I be sure of this?" <laughs> this tops even Gideon and his <laughs> fleecing the Lord, uh, yeah. expressing doubt is, uh, right. and and the uh, the angel uh, said to him, "I am Gabriel." It's like he has to introduce himself now. I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. This is verse nineteen, and I've been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their point in time. Now, it's, it's you just mentioned Gideon, and this is a fascinating um, juxtaposition. So Gideon says, I don't believe you make the make the dew on the on the sponge. Or, no. Gabriel doesn't give him time to this. He says, you don't believe me, so I'm going to totally shut you down. You're not going to have any speech between now and the time of the birth. It's a right. uh, it's a different reaction to the same um, fear and disbelief. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfectly uh, reasonable to have uh, doubts and to question. Don't don't please don't come away from this paranoid about uh, expressing your doubts openly. And uh, it, it's something that's impo important. But uh you got to realize the context here. <laughs> Can you imagine if it appear, it, it, an angel appeared in your in your presence? Uh, stunning. Ask Pastor Perry, right? Didn't he have an angel experience? A couple of them. I think he did. A couple uh, of them, know, yes. A couple of them, okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just such a uh, an overwhelming experience that um, what more can you, I mean, the, just the sheer, the sheer, um, presence of the angel uh is such a statement that i mean where do we go from here if you're not going to believe <laughs> me uh what what can i add to the message here that would convince you <laughs> so uh, and, and it's interesting too that john the baptist prophecy from the angel involves an appointed time like john the baptist didn't come 20 years earlier he didn't come 50 years earlier he came at the appropriate time and it's right. it's uh, you know the big picture that god has is that there's a timing to things that we aren't always happy about we want it done we want it done now and then we want it over with or whatever and but but the angel now shuts down john the baptist dad totally unable to speak until that happens at which is at the appointed time yeah, the yeah, I think part of what threw him was uh, uh, giving him his name, having his name picked out for him. Yeah, and the name John, as it's pointed out later, is not a name associated with any family member. Right. Uh, so why John? And I, I believe part of the reason the angel shut him down was that, so that he wouldn't uh, bring that up as a point of discussion. Uh, because it's settled, his name is going to be John, uh, and you, you've got to come around to this, which he does. Amen. Uh, is, uh, we'll see that shortly. Well, nine months of silence will tend to do that to you. Yeah, you'd think. There's indication <laughs> too that he might might have been deaf too at the, during the time that, that yeah. uh, they had to signal him uh, yeah. at some point, so maybe he couldn't hear them either. This is that's really being shut down. Yes. Um, so anyway, so we, um, uh, let's see. 21. Through their time. 21. Meanwhile, the people were, were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When so he they're, came outside, out. they're outside the, the holy place, not the holy of holies, but uh, John didn't go in there, but the holy place. And they were worshiping God. And this happens twice a day. There's a a flood of incense, and there's a particular clock that usually happens with it, and Zachariah has way overstayed his usual, 
amount of time that happens with this. So the people are starting to wonder out, outside what what's happening. I wonder what's happening. Is she, uh, you know, so uh, very, uh, it's a detail inserted by Luke, which really tells us about the, the clarity of Luke's research onto this mo momentous moment in history. Yeah. Well, it was, uh, it, it, lighting the incense was a big deal. I mean, yes, some, it was. some people said that uh, second only to uh, the high priest entering the Holy of Holies on uh, Yom Kippur right. uh, with the lighting of the incense. Yes, it happened frequently, but it was still a very high honor to uh, to actually do it. That's and, right. And uh, so, you know, maybe that maybe the people are wondering anyway why why it took them so long to uh, to do this uh, temple uh, um, procedure. Uh, so, verse twenty two, when he came out. This is John, uh, I'm sorry, Zechariah. When Zechariah came out of the temple, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but remained unable to speak. What, a, what an incredible testimony to the watching crowd. Um, like twice a day, every day, 360 whatever days a year, they, they've watched people gloriously present the incense and now here comes zach out of the holy place late and unable to speak and then they realize something really special happened to them to him in there uh mm. i wonder what it was i wonder what happened i wonder what happened you know the whole buzz of something um miraculous happening in the midst of something that is glorious and powerful and needed, but this is even a step beyond. Yep. So he was unable to speak. Verse 23, when his time of service was completed, he returned home. Okay. After this, it's, his fasc wife it's fascinating that his clan had this duty and his day morning and afternoon his day he came and he did his anointed incense bearing and and then the lord strikes him deaf and 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 perhaps dumb and he stays on with his service like he doesn't go home until his clan time is up it's a fascinating picture in what in waiting out what God would do, because God just promised him a baby, you know, there'd be so many people that would say, okay, guys, I got this promise, I got to go make a baby, and that's not what he's doing. He's being obedient to the call that he's supposed to be, serving the temple and serving God Almighty in with his clan, and so he waits till their whole, whole service time is done, and then he goes home. Yeah, verse 23, when his time of service completed, he returned home. Verse 24, after this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has, uh, her quote, the Lord has done this for me, she said. And these people, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace. What an amazing testimony uh, that she has here. The Lord has done this for me. He's taken away my disgrace and shown his favor. Just astonishing two paragraphs in this in this wonderful book of Luke that we have that we have anointing falling on Zach, that we have. A, a blessed promise, which is only miraculous because of their age, which is only miraculous because, you know, God's hand was in it. And then we've got Elizabeth impregnated and and, and rejoicing that her her days of shame are over. Yeah, it was a um, 
it's considered shameful that uh, if uh, a woman was barren, uh, in fact, it was a, a legitimate, uh, according to Le Levitical law, a legitimate reason for divorce if a woman right. could not bear a child. Uh, but but uh, Zachariah stuck with her all these years. He's these folks are uh, advanced in years at this point, and uh, he remained faithful to her. And right. um, instead of uh, instead of um, putting an end to the marriage, he prayed for her. And uh, in time, uh, the Lord showed them favor. This favor, Amen. which is extraordinary. Amen. Lord, we thank you for loving us, for showing favor on on Zach and Elizabeth. We thank you for the prophecies that were spoken about the life of John the Baptist. We would ask for your anointing, that we would be obedient at the right time of doing all that you've called us to do. Lead us, guide us, fill us again with your spirit. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you again, Lord. These extraordinary uh, stories that... Uh, are uh, inspiring uh, even today uh, in ways that only they can be. And that uh, uh, we see the, uh, the details of your plan coming together and uh, it's a, it helps, helps us develop our faith, which we uh, so uh, eagerly want to do. And we pray for your, dis your, your direction that we may live lives uh, that glorify you in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Well, blessings to you all. Uh, walk in faith. Live in the glory that God's 